Hey everybody, my name is Matt McCoy. I'm an Ableton certified trainer and a product specialist. And today I'm here at Full Compass. I'm going to show you some of the new features of Ableton Live 9. So as you know, Ableton has the revolutionary session view and arrangement view. And uh, Live 9 has some really great new features that I'm going to show you today. So let's just say that you are driving in your car or you're on a train or something and you hear just a cool melody line in your head or you know you hear this cool drum beat. Well you could pull out then your phone or something and record that drum beat. So let's just say I had this beatbox idea and uh, I recorded this beatbox into a phone. Sounds like this. Well now when I get home I could drop that audio clip here into Ableton and I'm gonna right click and go to convert drums to new MIDI track. And what Ableton's going to do is it's going to analyze the audio and it's going to identify the different sounds in that beatbox. So it's going to be able to identify the kick drum, snare, the little hi-hat that I'm doing. And it made a new MIDI track and a MIDI clip. Let's go, let me play that so you can hear it. And I'll solo it. And you can see, pretty amazing, Ableton identified those sounds added MIDI notes. Now that it's in MIDI, I could, you know, I, I could fix my performance, so I could quantize those things. So now it's nice and tight. Now that it's MIDI, you could change, you could add effects to it. I'm gonna add a delay to delay there. I'm gonna add a reverb on this send that I have. So another thing you can do is, let's say you have a, something that's polyphonic, like a harmony. I'm going to pull in a harmony audio clip and it sounds like this. Now I could right click and go to convert harmony to new MIDI track and it's going to identify all those different notes and it gave me a new MIDI clip now. Let's listen to that. It's pretty amazing that I identified all that. There's a few low artifacts down here I can get rid of. You can kind of edit, you know, edit the MIDI all you need to. And let's go ahead and just add a new, let's do a different sound for that. So I'm going to go to my instruments, Live 9, redesign to the file browser. A lot of your sounds are now just organized by category, which makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. So I'm going to go to operator, guitar, actually let's go to, let's do a piano. I'm going to drag this effect on there, kind of change the sound a little bit. Maybe we'll add some delay and reverb to that. I'm going to add in my original sound here if I wanted. All right, now let's just say, you know, you hear a melody line. And we can convert that to MIDI as well. So I'm going to drag the melody line. This is a recording of me just humming a melody into my phone. So pretty simple, nothing fancy. But let me go and right click on this and I'm going to actually just keep the audio going. I'm going to right click on this, convert melody to MIDI track. We'll hit play. You can see it identified my performance there. And I can edit the MIDI all I want. Let's go and drag this out. Let's add a uh, new effect, new sound to that. I'm going to go to analog, instrument, in Ableton. A great new feature of Live 9 as well is you can preview sounds by just clicking on the sound in your browser. And it gives you just an effect, just a sample of what you're looking at. So we're going to use this smoked analog bass. I'm going to throw this on there. Cool. Let's add an effect to this that I want to actually automate in Session View. This is another great new feature in Live 9. So we're going to go to My Audio Effects and we'll see use Erosion. I'm going to throw an Erosion on here. And I'm moving this parameter around, but let's just say I want to actually automate that. It's really simple. All you do is hit the new session record button to record automation. 
and I can move this around. Stop the recording, and now it's automated. It's a great new feature in Live 9. A couple of new great additions as well to Live 9 are mixing and mastering tools. One of them being the glue compressor is now included in Live 9. Also the EQs, EQ8 has been redesigned. You can double click and get a better view of this graph here for you know finer tweaking. So as you can see there's a lot of great new features in Live 9 that can help you in your live performance, in recording music, making new music on the fly. Um, with some of these features it's amazing because you don't even know, need to know how to play a piano. You can just hum in or beatbox in whatever idea you have and make music with it. So if you have any questions at all, check out fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales rep. Also inside of Ableton, if you have the program already, there's info view down here in the top, in the left corner, bottom left corner, or there's tutorials and lessons built right into the software. So check that out and hope you enjoy.